How's it going boys? So today, here we are going again. Oh yes indeed, it's a grey merchant deck. Again, kinda ish. Not really. So, a grey merchant deck with only two grey merchants. I know it's questionable, but at this point you should probably understand that being questionable of my decisions is just the better life choice. So we have four healers of the glade, four fibble whips, three Tessus oracles, four neoforms, one looming shaman, four risen reefs, one spark devil, three Tessus, two beast whispers, three pr uh, four prime speaker jennifers, uh, four cavaliers of night, and two gray merchants in a bunch of lands. Four fable passages and twenty-four lands to be specific, boys. So we have already done something like this deck, but honestly. It wasn't appreciated by a lot of people. For some reason, it was just not viewed by a lot of people. So, essentially, now with War of the Spark, it's even... No, War of the Spark, Teros Beyond Death. With Teros Beyond Death, it's a little bit more questionable, which is a good thing in our situation. But remember, boys, if you're questioning someone else, that's probably bad. But in our, cho in our situation, it's probably the best choice ever. Okay. So, this is a Grey Merchant deck, as stated previously, but since it has Risen Reef in it, it's obviously in reality a Risen Reef deck. I'm not gonna be one of those people who tries to lie to you about saying that it's not a Risen Reef deck if we have put Risen Reef in it. Remember, any deck that has even a singular copy of Risen Reef in it is 100% of the time, 100% of the times, a Risen Reef deck. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because they are just lying to your face. So, this is a huge combo deck, because most of the time if something dies, that means absolutely nothing to you. Like, things dying in this deck is normal. We already sacrifice things and do all, 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 all sorts of shenanigans. Ooh, this is gonna be ironic, to say the least. Okay, a Fibble Bib and a Healer of the Glade startup. Can't wait to see that this guy's Nagro dig and he squashes my parts. Well, ain't that just fancy pantsy? That's fine though. Okay, so let's start off with the Blue Land. I really should not use this Teros art for islands. It's absolutely horrible. The green ones and this swamp, splendid. Mwah. Absolutely lovely, boys. But anything else, absolutely disgusting. And no one still has yet to tell me how the hell do I get these arts. Because they look pretty good. Pretty good. So yeah, would be pretty nice if someone actually told me the secrets to this universe. But hey, I understand. I understand. No one wants to. Also this hound. Man, you see it so rarely, even though it's one of the better ones. The previous fox and owl were absolutely horrendous, but this one, this, 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 this one has. I wonder what he will do if we drop a Jennifer. He's gonna counter spell it most likely, right? Huh. He's gonna bounce it back. Yes, he is. Well, suddenly it all makes fucking sense, boys. It's a shit deck. Well, it's not a shit deck. Well, it is a shit deck. Let's be real here for a moment. But yeah. Uh, decks like that only work against a very, very minute amount of things. Which is kind of disgusting. But yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's see what he does now. <coughs> ah, oops. Uh, did, did the thing with the nose... Ooh, look at that, he has that. Uh, we can play this. A very nice land usage. Oh, right, that, that's the only way it can use lands. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we can neoform this Fibble Bib into something a little bit more manly. And what can be more manlier than a Risen Reef? Oh, yes, boys, exactly. Nothing. And then we can... Well, we can start off with some Grey Merchants. Or... I'm actually confused. Beast Whisperer time. Whenever you're confused, boys, remember that Beast Whisperer is your boy. He looks absolutely clueless in this in this picture, by the way. It, it looks like the guy has literally... Wait, what? I dislike this situation. What the hell, game? 
Okay. But you know what dad means? Do you? Wait, what, what does dad mean? Probably not. Wait. So the problem here is enemy con has three mana. That's enough to counterspell me. I'm currently playing this in hopes of top decking a land, which we did. Perfect. And now he counterspells that. Eh, he didn't counterspell it. Disgusting. Okay, the good part is we can we can get a fibble bib out of it. Okay, so we're gonna drop this. Enemy kun's gonna be <gasps> Sugoi! Oh, he actually absolutely did nothing of value there. Good. Okay, and now we can sacrifice who are we sacrifice? Ah, yeah, probably this. And the sacrifice has been obliged, and the cavalier of something does stuff. But no, boys, we are not done yet, because, you know, our HP pool seems a little bit unreasonable. So we're gonna sacrifice this dude. And now we're gonna take a Grey Merchant. Oh yes, boys, that was a lot of damage, and now Risen Reef to establish dominance. Look at that turn, lads. Have you ever seen a turn... That's bad. Okay, boys. And he's just gonna steal one more. This is absolutely stupid. This, this game is garbage. Garbage! Well, now. Okay. Let's pretend that never happened. Damn it. Ah. Uh, by the way, I intentionally have not put Agents of Treachery in this deck. Because Agents of Treachery can be put almost in any deck that is supposed to survive more than three turns and have blue mana in it. It doesn't mean you have to put Agent of Treachery inside. Well, we can. Again, we easily can. The old version of this had all the, uh, all the way ramped to six mana, so that was pretty cool and whatnot. But yeah. Anyhow, anywho, anyway. Oh, this is pretty decent. Oh, no, it's not. We can't use Neoform. Damn it. Well, maybe we find something. Maybe we're gonna die on turn two now. Well, we're just gonna have to see how it goes, honestly, at this point. But yeah, hope is... Yeah, that's pretty good. That's useful against these type of decks. So, let's hope that Enemy Kun 1 does not think Fibblebib is a monster, which he definitely is. A monster to- oh, he's a 40, he's definitely killing Fibblebib. Man, how my plans just don't work out sometimes. If it was any- oh! That's impossible! A Johnny Avatar players are naturally inclined for some reason to kill Fibblebib every time they see him. But this one just just ignored him. I am currently not sure about my understanding of what wait what oh that was bad. Wait, was it? Yeah, it was. No question about that. Well now we can do even more questionable plays, boys. Ta-da! It's a risen reef. Oh, look at that. It's almost like we didn't get punished, but I feel punished. Nice. Okay, I was... Wait, did we actually mess up by dropping the sweet-looking lane, not the ugly one? Let's, let's think about it for a moment. I'm not gonna think about it for a moment. That's, that's obviously too much effort from me. Oh, there we have it. Titan Scorn. You know, enemy kun, there are all better cards than Tyrant's Scorn, but I, I guess you're the type of person who literally will never care about that one, huh? Okay, so now we can finally do what we planned to do, like, a little bit previously. Oh yes, we're gonna do this. It's amazing. Blah 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 blah. Risen Reef. Pretend nothing bad happened. Get more Risen Reefs. Ooh la la. And get Healer of the Glades. And now draw, hopefully, not lands. Great. Well, technically, not bad. Technically. At least this guy hopefully not play Agent of Treachery. Man, if he had just an Agent of Treachery without the Tessa, it would be nice. Tessa? You betrayed me. And honestly, I don't know if I can live with that. Ah, oh, sad, sad, sad. Okay, let's sing. Ooh. Yeah, this is probably nice. Actually, what would be nicer? I don't know. 
Okay, so let's do this. It's a little bit of healing. It's a little bit of doing stuff. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. pretty that, that's pretty okay. Haha! I can attack with this, and he can't even block. What are you gonna do? A vampire capable of blocking a risen reef? Unthinkable. Unthinkable. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping to hit lands. Game lands. You use Risen Reefs to draw lands and play them instantly. That's like the biggest thing about Risen Reef. And you're completely botching it up, game. Not gonna lie. Not cool. Not cool. <clears throat> but, technically, kind of fine-ish. Okay. Oh, by the way. Now, I have staved off this deck for almost far too long even by my standards let's see now we can't play anything else but we could play ah uh, oh ah uh, that's bad i actually wanted to play jennifer even though it's less value but it's definitely the more manlier play so eh well whatever we currently are ramping to excruciatingly high amounts which is fantastic but yeah I'm gonna do a rampage of the clans deck. Sooner or later it must have have happened, and well now it's the time that it's gonna happen. Oh finally we get the black clans. Now, I'm not saying that everything in Magic the Gathering is rigged because that would be opt optimal game optimization so they make the most money, yet I am the 100% saying that. But in this deck, for some reason, the game thinks that it's absolutely fine to not give me black lands. I have had so, so, so many games where I just don't get black lands for some reason. Also, that's cute, enemy con. That is absolutely cuteness. What are you gonna do with that? Tell me. Do you think that actually holds value against me? No, it doesn't. Okay, if I play this, I can't play a Jennifer. God damn it. Okay, let's do it like this. And now we can play Jennifer and pretty much anything we desire. Uh, second fibble bib. Uh, let's actually think about it. No, not a second fibble bib, but it is. And now we can sacrifice fibble bib, which is arguably even better. Oh, finally, black lands. Okay. Next, next turn, gray merchant of Asphodel. And let's kill this to establish dominance. Oh, yes. Enemy could. What now? No, seriously, what now? I don't think you actually have it. Oh, wait, we can do this. I didn't even think about that. Nice. Oh, boys. Bo oh, 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 boys. Actually, I would probably want to sacrifice something with three mana so I can get a second test or whatever. Okay, so, what's the plan? Well, it, the plan is simple. Grey Merchant, the Phosphodel, and Sacrifice Risen Reef, and watch this person cry himself to sleep. Oh, boys, there's two types of damage. There's physical, and then there's mental. I prefer mental, as you can probably tell by now. Oh, yes. Also, a good question someone asked, uh, asked in the last video of, how do you actually deal with the mental damages and all the evil things that comes with making videos? I absolutely love making videos. That's like the thing. If I didn't like it a lot, I would... What the hell is that? Okay, I hate making videos. You got me. When, when stuff like this happens, absolutely disgusting. But back on the previous topic... I like just making videos, like, making a video is me talking for 30 minutes, one hour or something like that, and just flat out enjoying of my, uh, of myself. I don't need to worry about anything. Are you kidding me? Why? Don't tell me he's gonna find a... Agent of Treachery. Please, don't let it be an Agent of Treachery. But yeah. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so yeah. Like, it's just that simple, boys. It's literally just that goddamn simple. I just like making videos. And it's fun for me. It's really fun. I can just relax for 30 minutes or something and do whatever the hell I feel like. And it's amazing because of that. So yeah, also, that's pretty much the combo on maximum uh, throttle. Kinda-ish. Well, it's fine. 
Uh, let's see. What do we want? A reasonary. Wait, why did we have to click? Oh, right. Reasons. Okay, do that. And now let's do this. Boop. Skidoop. Select an object to call. Oh, I kill. Oh, oh, because it was that guy. Right. Okay. That, 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 that's how it works. And also, that's a way to get multiple tests if someone has not figured that one out yet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Me just not worrying about anything in life. Enjoying myself. Playing a game that I enjoy. It's, it's pretty good. It's, it's definitely really good. Now the hard part starts after the video recording button ends, because then I'm back to reality. My pretty actually decent life reality. But considering absolutely anything be, be, beyond amazing is garbage, ah, eh, there's no fun in it. Well, okay, there's fun in it, but still, we could do better things. But I really enjoy just, you know, relaxing for 30 minutes to an hour, depends on how long the video is. Not thinking about anything too much and just concentrating on having essentially fun. Even when I'm losing, even when I'm playing absolutely garbage things that people find questionable to be at best, I'm just having a good time. And that's all that matters essentially at the end of the day. Also, these color combinations scare me, but that's okay, because... The concede button exists for a very good reason. Oh, we can well fibble bib. Oh, just let me fibble bib a little bit. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so let's see. Ah, so we're gonna be able to get a risen reef out. We're gonna be able to test it up a little bit. And then let's see what happens. Oh, it's an enchantment deck. Well, ain't that sad we have cobbly ears of night. And this time, once in a... Oh, God, that's just bad. Okay, so, uh, I can't, damn it. So, we need to pay life here, sadly. Then we need to do this. And we can't even play the healer of the glades. If we're lucky, we find the land. That was extremely bad. Oh, boys, that was just horrible. Okay, but technically it's fine. Next turn we Tessa, then we can probably call the year of night. Oh, God, this guy just has everything. Oh, and he has... Oh! No, 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 no! Don't let him have the perfect combo of creature features so he can just ramp and scamp us. Okay, good. At least put that... Oh, God, that's... Wait. Oh, did I call... Yeah, right. That's, that's fine. Okay, so we can survive a little bit because he's not attacking. He's afraid to lose this gorgeous creature feature which creates ugly rad bastards essentially here. Okay, what happens if we do this? Uh, nothing. Nothing of value. Okay, so we're doing it anyway. That's, that's two cards, which presumes... Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, good, 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 good. Very good, very good game. Okay. So, I'm not actually gonna do this. Even though I, most of the time, kind of just, uh, uh, crack the eggs before the turn starts, so it will leave you... Ah, no, yes, I will do it. Okay, enemy kun. So here's the deal. You don't get this to a 2020 instantaneously because that would be absolutely bad mojo. And again, someone decided that hey, it's a good idea to, to put. Wait. Oh, he's making the Paradisio Druid a god. That's so bad for me. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Wait, he's making everything big. What the hell? Okay, so I'm essentially dead-ish, it seems like. Wait, he's just attacking with one? Ah, uh... We're killing this, so it's technically fine. Okay, so let's see what do we need. Uh, we probably need more greens up in this deck. Okay, green, one green has been accomplished, and what do we need more? Probably now we need bluish. Okay, bluish has been accomplished. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's more stuff. Okay, that's not bad. That is definitely not what you would call bad. Okay, so now we're gonna take the green because we're playing one of these and I don't want to think about stuff. Good. Okay, let's see. Neoform. Neoform is definitely useful. More of those things. Uh, let's see, I can't play the Tessa, but honestly, I think it's fine. Okay, good. 
So he ramped up and did amazing stuff because lame reasons. Yeah, we're essentially doing the same thing. There's no way he can prevent this, right? Okay. Oh, yes. Take all. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. If you, if you want to play like this, enemy con, then we can play like that. It's better to just kill that. Uh, better to kill that because it has trample. I don't care about anything else. The chances that he magically just finds a way to deal enough damage to me, zero. All his draw just got murdered in the form of this thing. Human creature warrior. Disgusting. Oh yes, boys. Ah, it seems like we have a chance. Oh! A bronze hide... By the way, this card is completely insanely overpowered. It's a 3-3 three, three for 2 mana. And it has effects that make invulnerable stuff. Whoever thought that this is a good idea clearly does not know uh, how to make decks. Also, he's out of options here currently. So, essentially, we win. We 100% of the time win, boys. Well, at least it looks like that. Do we have enough devotion to blue? Probably not. Okay, we're playing a Tessa no matter what, right? Oh, yes. Let's see what's in the graveyard. Ah, eh, nothing too special. So, let's see. I uh, can't do that. Is there anything reasonable I can do here? Well, it depends on who you ask what is reasonable, but... Ah, uh, we don't have enough. Let's see. If we... If we sacrifice that, we get a Fibble Bib, but there's no other play after that. If we do this... Well, we kinda need to do that a little bit, right? Yeah, we... Oh, we can... Oh, we can get Fibble... No, there's no reason to get Fibble Bib for, from, from the graveyard. Okay, so yeah, this guy has definitely lost. We're like one... We, we, we're gonna find a Grey Merchant of Asphodel any moment now, so it's gonna be at maximum fine. Also, I think we have enough Tessas to do wonderful things. Also, that needs to die. Like, seriously. Yeah, this this just needs to go. You need to go. I'm, I'm sorry, but you, you need to leave. Thank you. Okay, she left. Good stuff. Now we can sacrifice... Oh, we can attack with this one because there's no loss, honestly, with this one. Okay, perfect. Oh, he's gonna sacrifice an almost Faifu token. Ha! <laughs> ah, pitiful enemy, Kun. Absolutely pitiful. Okay, boys, so watch. This is the Grandmaster plan. We boop and blop more Risen Reef procs, uh, as always. It's Risen Reef Central right there. Oh, getting more lands? Oh, that's so nice, game. And Fibble Bibs. No one cares about the Fibble Bib part. But here we have it. A sacrifice on that. Amazing. Absolutely jaw-droppingly amazing. And now we're gonna kill this lion. Even though that's arguably bad because it can be used... Wait, what? Oh, it made it invulnerable! I didn't know it's he's gonna do that. That seems so strange to me for some reason. Okay, anyway, get rid of the Tessa, and get rid of the Looming Shaman, and get rid of... What else do we get rid of? Fibblebib? Ah, whatever, let's get rid of Fibblebib. Okay, so next turn, essentially, we can continue to do Mad Lad stuff. Oh god, that's so sad, look at him! That's so sad! Oh, all that glitters! Guess who cares? No one. That's right, exactly. No one cares. Hmm. We could do something with these bronze lions, if I think about it. Well, first it's gonna be a Golgari insta-KO deck with creatures. That's a thing, by the way. And then it's gonna be, well, a Rampage of the Clans. But this lion also needs something to be done with him. There's so much potential in just these two cards alone, I still haven't figured it out, but I am sure that I can make something happen with these two cards. Like, in a default enchantment deck, honestly, Siona, Captain of the Something, is completely god-awfully useless. But, oh, wait, so what's, the, oh, yeah, this is the plan, boys, watch. So this is the plan, can we, oh, we can't get a Grey Merchant out. Oh no, we can with this guy. 
I need to figure stuff out. Well, we know a lot. Well, I think it's Jennifer time. Okay, let's see. So, this. I need to actually calculate a little bit here. If we do that, yes, we're gonna still have enough. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, boys. So, got the Prime Speaker, Jennifer. We still have Neoform and we have Risen Reefs that look very succulent and risen-y. So, God, he must be so mad the fact that we actually killed his champion before it got to a 2020 by turn 4. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so, let's see. What's in the graveyard? Probably nothing useful. Okay, also, we're gonna soon win condition t with this as Oracle at this point. Yeah, we're kinda close to it, even, again, that's completely 100% not the point. This is Oracle just in a deck like this is actually really good search power. So, can we drop one of these? Uh, yes, yes, we can. Good, let's just drop the test as Oracle. It's nice. It's nice. As long as we don't top... Yes, we did not, not top deck the thing that I was afraid that we may accidentally top deck. That's great. Seven. Uh, we absolutely don't care about any of this. Because we're gonna do this. We're gonna Arisen Reef it up. Oh yes, boys, it's a Risen Reef. Uh, we don't have the Grey Merchant, though. We definitely don't have the Grey Merchant, which is kind of the sad part. But hey, two Tessas. I should probably name the deck Double Tessa or something. Because this is a way you can get Double Tessas. This is also a way that you can get... Wait, what do I even get out of this situation? Ah, I need to find a Grey Merchant. Now I can just sacrifice the Risen Reef again. I have a Neo form, so it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, let's do that, and let's submit this. This is apps. Oh, no, I should have... Wait, does it even work like that? I haven't tried it, honestly, so I don't know. Seems like something that has potential to work like I think it maybe possibly does work. Who knows? Oh, land. Good. Okay. So, enemy kun. What now? I'm gonna kill something that you own, yet again. Oh, it's sad and... To, to, uh, f it saddens me really, really much, honestly, to kill this sweet, sweet Mediterranean waifu, but... Sacrifices must be made, boys. And obviously, we're not actually gonna do that. We're yet again gonna try to kill the lion, because... Why kill a waifu if you can kill a lion? Or at least try to kill a lion. Kind of same thing, honestly. Okay. So... Oh, look at that. That's cute. Wait a minute. Ah! No! He's gonna minus three a singular thing I own. That's horrible. Wait, that does not matter. I'm gonna get it back anyway. Okay, minus my test. See what happens, boy. Yeah, that's right. Nothing's probably gonna happen. Yeah, you can do that, but yet again, it's it doesn't matter. Oh, right, it doesn't matter if we kill the planeswalker. Oh, that was completely bad. Oof, is all I can say here. Well, sad. We're not, not gonna be double bouncing the gray merchants, but technically it's still fine. Ooh, god, look at this. Okay. Oh. Hello there. This is a chance for that lad's dance. Observe, boys. Wait, how much do I need devotion? As long as less than five. One, two... Eh, I need to keep these. Okay. Uh, elk waifu sacrifice it is. Okay, so watch. He's gonna obviously get rid of the Paradisio Druid, right? 100% of the time. He's gonna protect his lion. He already has tried to protect his lion. He understands that mentally the game is about killing the lion, not actually winning. So he will protect the lion. 100% of the time. No questions asked, boys. Okay, also it looks like maybe he has actually conceded. 
but that's fine. Oh, more risen reefs. Damn, yeah, serious. I, I could really win with. Uh, okay, I could really win with Tess's oracles at this point. Oh, he did not. He did not save the lion boys. Wow, impressive. Not really. Okay, that completely fall follies my plans. Not gonna lie. So what's the play now? I need to get the gray merchant out. We can neo form it, but the, but does that? Ah, you know what? Let's just do this. It's fine. Oh wait, now we can do both. I think. Nice. I I'm pretty sure we can do both. Okay, wait. Is that the last gray merchant, or is one in the graveyard? No, there's no gray merchant in the graveyard. So tab this for uh, life and. Now we can drop a Jennifer. Whew, I almost thought we were gonna draw a Grey Merchant there. That would be bad. And let's just neoform this creature feature right there. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Now let's just decline. <laughs> I forgot that Grey Merchants are 5 cost. Damn it. Okay, this is fine. So let's just. What are we gonna do here? Uh, might as well bounce this. Yeah, might as well bounce this. I don't know why exactly, but seems to be the almost right thing to bounce. As long as I don't get a gray merchant. Well, we can choose to not get a gray merchant. That's absolutely no problem. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Neo forms, beat whispers. Ah, this is fine. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure enemy Kun understands the severity of the situation. That he's probably gonna lose. And that I am currently doing everything so suboptimally. He he has he, he should not have like doubts about this. Okay, ooh. Oh, he just wants extra draw. Ooh! Oh yeah, it's definitely time to kill this guy. Ho 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 ho! Yeah, definitely time to kill this dude. 100%. I am not- I am no longer playing around, boys. Well, he has only 3 mana. There's literally nothing he can do. Uh, and by doing all the extended calculations, I think we can just kill him with one Grey Merchant drop plus this. But I'm gonna get two Grey Merchant drops, because why not? Establish the more dominance we shall. Okay, also, Season of Growth only now. Unlucky, unlucky. Okay, enemy Kun, what now? You probably can't do anything anymore, so it doesn't technically matter a lot. Okay, any moment now. Any moment. It should, it should hit them right on the head. Any moment. Too bad we, again, too bad we can't just double test, but it's fine. Okay. Oh! Oh! What you planning there? Oh, that's not impressive even. Well... You, you, you know I can kill the thing now, right? You, you do understand I can just flicker the cavalier and, you know, it's dead. And that will give... Oh! Is there any? Ah, oh, well, okay. So, first, first, oh, 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 boys, we can do it. We can actually do the 100% full combo wombo. Okay, so yeah. Sacrifice the Risen Reef. Kill this. Yes, excellent. We get that. Exiled? I should really read cards sometimes. Oh! Oh! Oh, now that's really awkward. Okay, now we can do this. Oh yes, boys. Oh yes. Well, that's 411. And now we can neoform this up into, well, one more Grey Merchant, which is even more amazing. Boom! Grey Merchant atized. Bam. Yeah, that's right, boys. This is how we do. This is definitely how we do. Too bad we lost the first game, I think. Maybe we didn't, I don't remember again. 
Ah, oh, it's a pretty sweet deck. Well, obviously, if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, you can change some things around. But you kind of get the concept. The concept is super solid. So, anyway, this was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the absolutely everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.